past 30 years, multiple wars, and dozens of conflicts, the AM General Humvee has cemented its legacy in American culture. Officially the High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle, or HMMWV, the Humvee went into service with all five branches of the United States military beginning in 1985. But it wasn't until Americans back home watched the Humvee barrel into battle during the Gulf War that it captured the hearts and minds of civilians. The Humvee has served valiantly since then, but there's no escaping father time or the unconventional nature of modern warfare. With Humvees proving vulnerable to roadside bombs and small arms fire, the U.S. Army and Marine Corps began looking for a successor in 2008. The replacement is now ready. The faster, stronger, and deadlier Roshkosh LATV, likely to be better known as the Oshkosh JLTV. We got behind the wheel of the new Bajard Bread and Dur Max powered armored truck before it officially goes into service late next year. The Oshkosh JLTV, or Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, is currently in low rate initial production and is designed to replace all Army and Marine Humvees in front frontline service. But before we get too far into the JLTV, it's important to understand why the tried and true Humvee is being replaced. The Humvee, like the M151 Mutt and Willys M38 and MB Jeeps before it, was designed to support troops in a conventional conflict like World War II. It was intended to get troops and cargo anywhere. Thanks to a drifting truck.